Arrays functions are very easy and quite a fun. So I have this array of color red, green and blue. This is simple array. So you can pop things out from this array by just calling simple array function of pop. It's very easy. You just have to mention the function name and that is array pop. Then you have to pass the name of this array. So I have pop one item from this array. So let's here see the structure of this array of color. So we have this file of arrays functions. See we picked one color of blue from here. So if I add one more time this function of array pop, then you will see this green will also going to be popped from this array. See? Now like this pop you can also push items into your array. For that just remove this pop from here and write push in our color array with new item of black and uh, white and pink also. Let's save this one out. We also have this print R right here. See now we have red, green, black, white and pink. I forgot to add quotation right here. Now let's refreshing the page. Everything is perfect. So like pop and push you can also find out total number of elements in our array. For that first let's create one simple numbers array and I'm going to call it numbers in which I'm gonna add some random number. So I have added some numbers in our array. Now you can count the total number of this array by just calling some simple function of count. Count what? Count total numbers in our array. Now let's see. See now we have total 9 numbers in our array. You can find maximum and minimum value as well. By using the keyword of max and minimum. M-I-N. Save this one out. See it in browser now. We have maximum 1000 and minimum 6 in our array. You can find some specific number in your array by just calling simple function of is our array has some number in that case i'm going to find this 89 see yes we have one one means yes we have 89 number in our array we can simply sort our array by using sort function so if we see the structure of our array See, we have sorted our array 1000 at last and 6 at the index of 0. You can resort it by just putting 1 R before your function to resort it. So let's see the structure again. See, now we resort it. Now it's starting from 1000 and ending at 6. Now in this lecture there are two more functions are left. One is implode function and other one is explode function. First we are going to do implode function. What is implode function? Actually implode function is used to return a string from the elements of an array. So if we have array of this quote. of never give up in life this is simple array by using implode function if we just simply call echo statement with implode function remember there are two things in implode function first one is 
one string you can leave it empty string with space and the next part will be the array name and in case that is quote so this implode function is going to take every element of this array and convert it in a complete sentence now let's save this one out and see it in browser now see now we converted our array elements into a complete sentence now if you want to convert it back into elements then you just have to use one simple function of explode so this explode functions break a string into an array so i'm going to give it simple string to our explode function So I give it this simple string to this variable of uh, code. And now by using explode right here, I'm just gonna break this string into arrays element. Let's save this one out, see it in browser now. See there is an error on the screen because we cannot do string conversion. This is just because of we are doing string conversion. So if you want to see the structure, you can see the structure, but you cannot do string conversion. You cannot take a string and convert it in an array. So by using explode function, what you can do, you can just simply take the string and convert it in arrays elements without echoing it on your browser. So instead of echo, you can use print dash r. And inside this, I'm gonna put our explode function. So let's remove it from here and put it right after it, our print R function of explode. Let's save this one out and see it in browser now. See, now we converted our this string never give up in life into again structure of array. So never is at zero, give at one, up at two, in at 3 and life it at 4. So this is the way you can implode simple array into string and explode one simple string into array structure.